The magnetic theory is based on the fact that air is not empty, but is made up of elements that we rely on for life. Air is a substance that carries magnetic energy, which comes from the sun and other planets. The study of magnetic energy can help us understand the changes in seasons, which are caused by the rotation and revolutions of the sun and planets. Air is able to transmit different programs and vibrations, which can be identified separately, even if they overlap. This vibration is a part of the magnetic field and can be divided into separate emanations. To put it another way, the air around us is not just empty space, but is actually filled with a substance that is a tremendous field of magnetic energy. This energy comes to us through the air and is affected by the magnetic powers of the sun and other planets. Our bodies also have their own magnetic fields, which depend on our thoughts, emotions, and attitudes. If we take proper care of our magnetic field by being mentally, emotionally, and physically healthy, it can help to protect us from infections and other difficulties, heal wounds, and even compensate for missing body parts. Therefore, it is important to pay attention to and maintain the integrity of our magnetic fields for our own survival and well-being. The energy that sustains us comes from the sun, and it enters our body through a mysterious energy tube in the magnetic field via the crown of the head. This energy flows through our body and is excreted back through the lower centers. We carry this energy with us all the time, and it is essential for our survival. However, the integrity and power of the magnetic field can be damaged by breaking rules or physical interferences, such as harmful substances, fears, and complexes. Each part of our body has a magnetic field, and the survival of each unit within us depends on the energy it receives. Any damage to the magnetic field reduces our vitality, making us more susceptible to infections and shortening our life expectancy. Therefore, it is essential to follow the laws of nature, which are the laws of God, to maintain the integrity of our magnetic field. Every particle in the universe is infused with life energy, so there is no such thing as a truly dead particle. Therefore, it is important to understand that maintaining the energy field is essential to living a virtuous life. The law of the energy field is also the law of integrity, and it determines what is right and wrong. Any action or attitude that is harmful to the common good, compromises the principles of right living, or is contrary to the Ten Commandments will damage the magnetic field. Each individual cell in the body has its own moral responsibility, and each organ is a living entity within the body that contributes to the common good. To harm one part of the body is to harm the entire organism, as each organ has its own magnetic field that contributes to the larger, overall field that surrounds the entire person. According to Pythagoras, there was a temple in Egypt where therapy was based on contemplation of symmetrical geometric shapes. These shapes, such as octagons and havens, were placed on pedestals for contemplation because their perfect and complete structures were therapeutic. Even though they were not technically alive, every form in nature has a magnetic field that must be obeyed. When an individual sees a perfect proportion in a geometric solid, the realization enters their subconscious as a benevolent magnetic center. This means that by visualizing perfection, it improves oneself. On the other hand, accepting discord will inevitably harm oneself. Nature itself is benevolent, but humanity often abuses it. However, we can still live in harmony if we choose to do so. The magnetic field that protects us shields us from negative fields that do not arise from within ourselves. Other people cannot contaminate us unless we give in to their negative attitudes due to our own weaknesses. Our integrity can be compromised by adopting the attitudes of others, 
and any wrongdoing we commit affects our own magnetic field. This magnetic field is not limited to our physical body but also extends to our digestive system and elimination process. A negative disposition or attitude can damage this magnetic field, leading to illness and chronic conditions if left unchecked. While external factors may contribute to these ailments, they are ultimately rooted in our own magnetic field and our ability to maintain harmony within it. We must take responsibility for our own magnetic field and strive to keep it in balance and harmony with the natural world around us. In European esoteric philosophy, alchemy was practiced as a means of transforming and transmuting energies, which are similar to the energies found in magnetism. It is important to recognize the inherent value of everything we encounter, whether it is a simple pebble or a crystal. Crystals are formed through a unique rate of vibration that is specific to each element, and this vibration can be found throughout the mineral, vegetable, and animal kingdoms. Each kingdom has its own magnetic core, and individuals within those kingdoms are individually conditioned within those magnetic fields. By maintaining integrity and keeping faith with this natural process, we can achieve security, survival, and world peace. It is surprising to learn that even a potato has its own magnetic field, as every cell within the potato generates its own magnetic field. This sheds light on the importance of nutrition, which is largely concerned with studying the magnetic fields of various food products, and how additives or poisonous elements introduced to them can disrupt these magnetic fields. Although laws are passed to prevent these misuses, we often overlook the fact that the physical aspect is only a small part of the problem. The real issue lies in the lack of integrity, which is essentially keeping the laws and rules of energy fields. Every field has its own integrity, and all integrities in all fields are compatible. Any violation of integrity creates constant conflict, which is why individuals must not abuse their body, emotions, hearing, or mind. They must avoid developing attitudes that go against the integrities bestowed by nature to maintain a conflict-free life. The magnetic fields are always truthful and cannot be made deceitful. Our actions can only damage or restrict their expression of honesty. If we violate the rules governing these fields, we lose the benefits that come with them. This loss is often misconstrued as the arrival of evil, but it is merely the result of failing to develop, purify, and intensify a positive resource. These fields are continually evolving and developing throughout our lives. An individual's magnetic integrity level may be fixed at birth, but they can improve themselves and raise their integrity level through personal growth. Essentially, the process of enhancing these magnetic fields is a gradual journey towards the perfection of an energy source. It is impossible for an individual to perfect their energy resource in one lifetime or even a hundred lifetimes, but they will grow and become more harmoniously adjusted to the principles of life they belong to as their integrity grows. However, we are currently in a sad state because we have broken every possible rule and are living off the profits of our mistakes, which is not beneficial. The problem lies in the relationship between energy and its proper ends and purposes, and this has nothing to do primarily with theology, government laws, or legal codes. Every existence has a magnetic field, even if it is not visible, and the entire atmosphere and world are full of magnetic interplays. As long as these magnetic fields are honest and kept in integrity, they are all compatible. A universe free from dishonesty would be free from all weaknesses.